What's up, TCG family? This is TCG Dad. We're back with, I think this is number 14 in our Secret Layer April Openings lineup. Um, this is the uh, Showcase Midnight Hunt uh, Secret Layer again. We did uh, have this one earlier um, in the uh, series. However, this is the Foil Edition. Um, this came out in uh, 2021 as part of the October Super Drop. It contains 10 uh, traditional foil cards in this instance, and all of those uh, 10 cards are land cards. Um, they are done in the Eternal Night um, style, so really interested to see how these um, early secret layer foil cards um, kept up and the glues coming off there, so we saw that in a previous one as well. I actually um, took, some, uh, took a bit of a, a glue gun and actually closed that back up nicely so that I could uh, keep the box in good shape. So here we go, secret layer. Showcase Midnight Hunt. I don't know why it's got all this fluff and debris on it. We'll just put that off to the side and get that out of the box. So thanks so much for joining us. If it's your first time in the channel, we'd appreciate it if you hit subscribe and join the TCG family. Um, otherwise, if you're a, a, already a subscriber, thanks so much for your support. Um, hopefully you're taking care of yourself, you're taking care of each other. Um, smash the like button, leave us a comment down below. Let us know what you think of these openings and what you'd like to see in the future. I'm just going to take a quick look at the bonus card, just a little bit of Pringling. Don't feel any creasing, otherwise the plastic packaging seems pretty uh, in pretty good condition, so we'll leave that there for last. We do have 10 cards here, I think, so I can see a little bit of Pringling right through the plastic. Um, and they seem kind of, they seem straight there, but certainly, yeah, you got the tra traditional, I would say, foil, traditional Pringling. Um, these are from 2021. And you can definitely see that out of the plastic. You can certainly feel it. Pretty solid half pipe in the making. Uh, but we'll jump right in. Kicking this secret layer off with a Moorland Haunt. This is a land in a beautiful... Um, I think it's beautiful with the way the rainbow kind of uh, plays with the black and white. Monochrome. Sorry, let me just grip that a little differently. So this land you can tap for a colorless. Otherwise, you can play a Plains and a Island, and then tap uh, Moorland Haunt to exile a creature card from your graveyard. You then create a 1-1 white spirit creature token with flying. That's awesome. Okay, that's our first one. Put it right there. Next, we've got the beautiful Vault of the Archangel. I wish these were flatter, because then the light wouldn't be as crazy. It would all kind of rainbow nicely. So with this land, you can tap her colorless or pay two an island and a swamp and then tap creatures you control and then tap the land and then creatures you control gain death touch and lifelink until end of turn so that's awesome vault of the archangel that's number two this is number three we have nefalia drown yard and that is uh, land as well you tap for a colorless or you can pay one an island and a swamp and then tap the land target player mills three cards there we go. Follow your drown yard. Next we've got Desolate Lighthouse. It's a land you can tap for tap it for a colorless, or you can pay one, an island and a mountain, and then tap Desolate Lighthouse. Draw a card, and then discard a card. Okay. That's number four. This is number five. We have Stenzia Blood Hall. With this land, you would tap it for colorless, or pay three, a uh, swamp and a mountain, tap Stenzia Blood Hall, and then it deals two damage to target pl uh, player or planeswalker. So it deals two damage to target player or planeswalker. Stenzia Blood Hall, beautiful. Uh, okay, we'll start putting it down here. Next, we've got Grim Backwoods. With this land, you would tap it for colorless, or pay two, a swamp and a forest, tap Grim Backwoods, and Sacrifice a Creature, draw a card. Okay, awesome. Next, we've got the Kessig Wolf Run. With this guy, you would tap to add a colorless, or pay X, a mountain and a forest. Tap Kessig Wolf Run, target creature gets plus X plus zero, and gains trample until end of turn. One of those game-winning moves. Okay. Next, we've got Slayer's Stronghold. With this land, you would tap it for colorless, or pay a mountain and a plains, and then tap Slayer's Stronghold. Target creature gets plus two, plus zero, 
and gains Vigilance and Haste until end of turn. Awesome. And then we've got Gavany Township. Okay, it's a land. You tap it for colorless, or you pay two, a forest, and a plains. You tap Gavany Township, but you put a plus one, plus one counter on each creature you control. Pretty epic. And I think this is the last card. We've got Alchemist's Refuge. It's a land that you tap for colorless, or you would pay a forest and an island, and then you would tap Alchemist's Refuge. You may cast spells this turn as though they had flash. That is pretty sweet. Okay, we're just going to go ahead and pop this guy here and then take a look at the bonus card. And we've got a island. Number 549. It's a nice foil island with what looks like a lighthouse being destroyed. All right, so thanks so much for tuning in, everyone. Really appreciate the support. Thanks so much for checking out these videos. We'll be filming the next one shortly, so stay tuned. Um, thanks so much again for um, smashing the like button, smashing subscribe. We do have that 250 subscriber goal, so make sure you tell a friend. Make sure they're subscribed. You don't want to miss out on the prize. The announcement should happen within the next week or two. Um, so this is uh, TCG Dad signing off. Give you guys a quick close-up. Again, guys, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, stay awesome. Peace.